guys, I made glam decorative vases. Both vases have different finishing, but the end result is a shiny glam decor. And I really love the way this turned out. I'd like to share with you guys how I made them. I made use of paper towel holders and I used two for this project. And I also use poster boards. This is the pattern that I drew out and then I cut it out with a pair of scissors. That's gonna be for the first face that I'll be making. And these are the measurements. I drew a lot of this pattern on the poster board. Tracing it out with a pencil. And when I'm done, I'm gonna cut it all out with a pair of scissors. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I made 37 pieces in total. And now I'm gonna be gluing them on to the paper towel holder. I decided to glue the pieces onto the paper towel holder before spray painting it and that's because the spray paint I'm using is glossy and I was scared that it won't adhere properly but if you're gonna use a different kind of spray paint it's better to spray paint the paper towel holder and the pieces before gluing them together I'm going to keep gluing on the pieces of the paper towel holder until it's full enough to my satisfaction. I'm okay with this and now I'm going to be covering up the bottom part. I used the measurement of the paper towel holder to carve out the circle and then I glued it at the bottom. I made a shorter vase using the same technique as the first face and these are the measurements of the pieces that I used. I used a white spray paint and I spray painted it white. I also spray painted the longer vase. I'm using this mosaic mirror tiles for the first face and the link will be in the description box below. I cut them into singular strips and then I adhered them to the vase and it's self-adhesive and it's easy to use but I will advise that you attach the strips with a hot glue gun just to make sure that it stays in place. This requires a lot of patience, but I didn't mind because I know that at the end of the day, I'm going to have a beautiful glam vase. I did this all around, but like I said, I continued the rest using a hot glue gun. This is what it looks like and it's so shiny and so pretty. I got rocks from the Dollar Tree and that's what I'm going to be putting inside of the face to make sure that it stays balanced. For the smaller vase, I'm going to be using these self-adhesive gems that I got from Walmart. They come in different sizes. I will use the smaller sizes for the upper layer and then the mid sizes for the lower part of the vase. This is what it looks like. And I also used gems 
around the top part of the vase to cover up the edges. I also covered the bottom part and I used rocks to keep it stable. Both vases came out so pretty and it's hard for me to choose which of the vases I love more than the other. They are elegant looking pieces and I'm so happy with the way they turned out. Let me know in the comment section below which of the vases you prefer. Is it the one with the mirrors? Or the one with the gems? And remember to like and share. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.